I'm a intolerance. So all attributed say, say, uh, say forgiven, forgiveness, happiest. Because we, we previously, for small sport matter, you get irritated at each other. After having realization, after having spontaneous conviction, nothing has been happened. No irritation. Whatever happens in a small thing happens in your experience. You will be completely calm and quiet. Exceptional tolerance will come, exceptional blissfulness. Mm -hmm. And then they will, will say, <coughs> all desire will be disappears. No desire. No mind, no ego, no anything. It happens spontaneously. That is called spontaneous conviction. You will be completely free, even though you are using this body, either male or female, you will remain unconcerned with the body knowledge. You are using body as a temporary thing, just like using something, uh, say, instrument, something like that. <coughs> it happens spontaneously. That is the conviction, spontaneous conviction. Mm -hmm. Understanding is quite a, I understand, I am not body. It is not so easy. And for which, again I am repeating, meditation is the basic thing. You have to devote some time. Some time is at least one hour. It is considered 24 hours, you have to one hour. What one hour you are doing? Just to try to identify an identify identity within you. That I was not body, I am not body, I am not going to remain body. That reality will be absorbed totally within you. So even if we are living in this world as a male or female, or you are unconcerned with the body activity, it happens. Mm -hmm. Complete peacefulness will be there. And it's very simple. Only Nama Mantra is playing a very, very good part. Through Nama Mantra, you are hammering yourself. So slowly, silently and permanently, all this Design all this expectation needs to be dissolved. You're completely free, completely free. Completely silent, silent, silent. So understanding at intellectual level is not sufficient. Because everything within you, spirituality, reality, is not separate from you. So far we are measuring ourselves in body form, therefore we are not able to identify ourselves in real sense. If you are not identify our seven real sense, whatever you are doing, if you have thousands of masters, if you read thousands of books, you are not happy. Some people coming, I have 50 years I am doing spirituality, 30 years I am doing spirituality, what are you doing? The eternal ego is there, I am doing something. You are not doer, there is no deed, nothing. Is. So, First stage, your body and it is supposed to be dissolved totally, spontaneously. It happens. Nothing is impossible. You are getting courage. So, there only don't be any play of the words. Spiritual words, you are playing with the spiritual words. Atma, Paramatma, so many, so many, so many, thousands of words. We are created language, we are giving meaning to the language. Not to struggle with the language. I've seen somewhere I'm seeing that why this, why you. They are the words. Just for conversation. Just for sharing the reality, knowledge. Don't nothing. See what, what was there prior to beingness. In language was there. No, I was there, there no you, there no he, she, he, he, nothing, nothing was there. No concept of God, no. Master, no disciple, no devotee, no deity. Nothing was there. After living body, what, what remains? You got a lot of knowledge. You are master of knowledge. Okay. Will that knowledge will be held to at time during the body? What is the use of that knowledge? What do you mean by knowledge? Just to identify one self real sense. We are identifying ourselves in body from that illusion. It's the open fact. So everything starts from everything you end within you. 
as I have told that everything came out of nothing, everything dissolved within nothing. Your presence was there but not any form, your form is presence. After living body, your presence will be there, not in form. They take so many houses, they collapse, what of the fate of the sky, space. Sky is not dying, there is no death, no birth. So death and birth concepts about death are. All desire will be dissolved. It happens. We are instead of self desires. So instead of studying the spirituality, try to digest that spirituality within you. Spirituality is not separate from you. So far we are measuring our shape in body form, or counting our shape body form, spirituality will be different. The moment that spirituality absorbs, and that that state, there is no I, there is no you, he, she, nothing is there. No God is there, no master is there, no disciple, no devotee, nothing is there. Therefore, I told you, except you are selfless, if there is no God, no Brahman, no Atman, no Paramatma. All needs, requirement, desire came along with the body. Where is the desire prior to beingness? Everything dissolved along with the body. What remains?